So today though I did not want to say anything to upset you people, but I must tell you that worshipping Sri Ganesha means there has to be a thorough cleansing within you. When you worship Sri Ganesha, keep your mind clean, keep your heart clean, keep your being clean. No thoughts of lust and greed should come up. Actually, when the Kundalini rises, Ganesha had to be awakened within us, the innocence has to come up, which obliterates all such degrading ideas within us. If ascent has to be achieved, we have to understand that we have to mature. What are we worshipping today is the innocence within us. We are worshipping that is auspicious, which is innocent. Innocence which is deep down within us, that's our character, that's our nature, that's what we are born with, is the basic of this whole creation, is the essence of this creation. What is our substance within ourselves? This is what Christ preached, morality point. So important for Him it was, because after dharma, which was a balance, where of course morality is very important, but it was necessary for Christ to talk of the innate, deeper morality, which is a part and parcel of our being, it is not just taught or told or frightened because there's a fear of God and wrath of God, but it should be your own innate light, so what is your power? Where does your power lie? It lies in the Spirit. But even before the Spirit is achieved, what is your power? Is Kundalini? She is sleeping. Then what is your power? Is your chastity. If a man is chaste, chaste temperament he has, and he stands up in his chastity, it acts, it works. But first of all, chastity pays dividend in your good health. From the face of a person you can say that this person is a chaste man. What is the essence of your personality is your chastity. And in Sahaja Yoga you can re-establish everything, whatever you have lost, you can. That's why the depth is lacking. And this is the reason there is no consistency in the temperament of people, no consistency. Now you'll get twelve hundred people for my lecture, and next day not even one, all lost, because there's no base, you know, like a loose connection. There's no connection. Connection point is your chastity. But change your priorities now. The whole attention once goes to your own spirit, 
will be surprised. The whole chart will change. What's the most important thing? To meditate every day. If Sri Ganesha is within you, you become like a child, childlike in a sense. But you become like a child who is very sweet. He always tries to amuse you, always tries to say nice things, always tries to make you feel happy. The source of such joy. And that's how you become a source of joy, source of happiness, source of fulfillment. All the time bubbling with laughter and happiness, bubbling with beautiful things. How the children amuse you, just see and watch. How they come round with little, little hands, how they work it out. How they know what is the right thing. And the negative within us disappears with the light of Sri Ganesh. You can see it so clearly in another person. If you don't have chastity, you can never see who is unchaste or chaste. With little jump, courage and faith, we can achieve a lot. Have faith in yourself. Not mental faith, but actual chastity is faith. Chastity is the consolidation of your faith. When you have faith in God, you are chaste. When you have faith in yourself, you are chaste. Crystalline form of faith is chastity. And that you can have even before realization. Many have. Actually, like the camphor, which you see, is volatile and evaporates into the fragrance in the same way, we can say, chastity acts into faith. If you don't have chastity, you cannot have faith in anything. So from today we are not going to look at the stars or the moon, but to going to look at the Mother Earth. In the universe, she represents. The Kundalini is nothing but chastity. She is just chastity. Can you believe it? What a power! Motherhood, everything is chastity. Fatherhood, any relationship is chastity. Purity is again the fragrance of chastity. Goodness, compassion, everything comes from chastity, a sense of chastity which is not mental. So make your Kundalini strong by being chaste. People try to do things to look very attractive and this and that. Don't waste your energy like this. You are saints, live like saints. You don't have to attract anyone. Chastity is the fragrance in the flower which attracts the bees is the honey of the flower, is the essence of our existence. All that comes to you through your meditative efforts.
Now the effort is to be just that you have to be meditative, that's all. Keep your meditation on, try to be meditative, see things. What is witness state is nothing but that you are meditative. Do not take your Realization for granted. Unless and until your Ganesha is settled, your Realization has no meaning at all. Watch yourself. Have you got adulterous eyes? Have you got an adulterous mind? What is your expectation about Sahaja Yoga? So many think that in Sahaja Yoga God blesses you, then you must get a good amount of health, money, and position, power, the first thing you must ask for is the pure Ganesha, Nirmal Ganesha. Oh Mother, please give us the blessings of establishment of purity in our Ganesh principle. In relationships, in attitudes, in behavior, Try to judge yourself, are you innocent? In the same way, Shri Ganesha within us is magnetic. So a person who has Shri Ganesha awakened within himself becomes magnetic. And magnet attracts the steel, not dried leaves, does not steel. And steel is like the Guru Tattva. The man with the steel, say, man of steel, a person who has character, conviction, and who cannot be dominated by temptations. So what is this magnet? It's pure love. It's pure love. And the concept of pure love is that it doesn't depend on anything whatsoever but on itself. It is the support of itself. It's like light that spreads just by its own nature, doesn't want anything, doesn't expect anything, just spreads all over and enlightens other people's heart. That's why they get attracted. So for yoga it is important that you fix up your magnets of Sri Ganesha, who is the childlike, Personality. A child, just one child, everybody is attracted towards the child. Why this attraction for children? Because their magnets are intact. Their ego has not yet developed. The second power of Ganesha is that He gives you wisdom. If you see a farmer and a big professor or a very well educated man and talk to both of them, you'll find the farmer has much more wisdom than this M.A.D. Ph.D. 
Why? Because he deals with Mother Earth every day. He knows the living process. He knows about the innocence of the Mother Earth. So an innocent person is the wisest among a child who is innocent is much wiser than ten ego-oriented people. So the second capacity of Sri Ganesha is that you become a wise person. So it grants you wisdom. When you have the power of Sri Ganesha, your eyes are radiant. You get a spark in your eye, a light in your eye. When He is enlightened in you, then you cannot look at anyone with dust and greed. But this glance is so powerful that even one glance is sufficient to purify thousands of people. Just the opening of the eyes are necessary and you find whole thing changes into a beautiful morning from a complete dark night. Glance can awaken the Kundalini. The Mother Kundalini cannot move unless and until Sri Ganesha gives the permission. He is like the Vice Chancellor sitting on all the chakras. He has to certify, all right, pass, go. <laughs> on every chakra. And when the Kundalini rises, Sri Ganesha is awake and otherwise Kundalini cannot rise. But then when he sleeps down, Kundalini is sucked by him. Now we think we have lost our innocence. That's not easy to be lost. It's not destructible. Only thing, what you have done is to cover it with something that cannot allow Sri Ganesha's principle to manifest in us. You have pushed it down, you have brought pressure on it, you have brought loads and loads of nonsense on it. That's all. But it never dies. It is an eternal principle of the whole universe. The another quality of a person who is endowed which Sri Ganesha's powers is that he removes all the hurdles. If one person of this nature is in some place, all the rest of the people who are nearby will be saved if there's an accident or if there's any problem which is destructive, all of them will be saved. This Ganesh Tattva is now acted by your attention. If you have an attention which is all the time going from this place to that place to that place to that place, then it is affected. Especially in the case when we start uh, looking at men, looking at women all the time, then the, also our Ganesha Tattva gets uh, very much destroyed. Such people are difficult for rising in their ascent because Agya itself goes out. Then this Ganesha Tattva can also be reduced if you are very materialistic.